I think my pocket dump has a bum bag problem. Let me explain. Been watching a couple of the cool videos on like the Georgia bushcraft and Smoky Mountain knife and Smoky Mountain knife works or whatever. They've been doing some of these pocket dumps or whatever. And I think they're kind of neat videos where they show everybody, you know, show ask random people, you know, what do you what do you carry every day? Some of it's kind of neat. And so I wanted to do that. I wanted to do a video, but I want to focus it on work because you know, everyday carry it, it's not a knife thing. It's not a small mini tool thing. It's a whatever it is and whatever, you know, whatever you pick up every day and put it in your pocket. It may be a pair of earbuds. That's everyday carry. Uh, you know, your cell phone is everyday carry. Do you carry sunglasses every single day? That's part of your everyday carry. And in each of our lifestyles and our professions and stuff, we all have our own kind of unique carries and I think it'd be kind of neat to to see that so if you have a video on what you work carry or whatever that's kind of neat drop it in the comments I'd like to check it out I think that would be kind of cool to to see that um and then other people could see it off of the comments and stuff so YouTube's kind of weird anymore for me when I first started it, it seemed a little bit more community based. You know, people would share more videos back and forth. And I'm pretty sure I remember a time when you could tag somebody else in your video. And I could be wrong, but I thought you could tag another channel to it. Like respond directly back to a video with a video kind of thing. But anyways, I digress. Everyday carry. I'd like to see your video. But let's start here this bag here i have in my car every single day um i need it for certain tools i don't necessarily use it every day but i need to have it every day because there's a potential to use it every day not that that's confusing or anything like that but let me set this down over here let's see, try to stay out of frame some if i can it's not all the way oh well I don't want to cause too much of a ruckus. So this bag has some measuring tools for hydraulic pipe fittings, pipe fittings, brass fittings, um, nuts, bolts, uh, metric, standard, um, Kimball Midwest. But that's rides in there. A little utility knife Kimball Midwest again I guess we're gonna have a Kimball Midwest commercial today let's see all the Kimball Midwest products this is neat because it has an auto reload let me see if I can so when you discard a, a blade you can pull it back push it forward you can obviously flip the blade and reload it right here uh, same way as just pulling it out you can drop a new or turn your blade around but it's a kind of a neat feature if that blade's shot, you don't have to fiddle with it that one time. Um, since we're promoting Kimball Midwest, this is a made in the USA pin. It's not a fancy pin or anything like that. It's just a nice quakey pin that writes well. It's a good writing, decent pin. Um, I can get these for like two bucks a piece, uh, which made in the USA, two bucks. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, sometimes I give them out to friends and people and stuff. And then a Sharpie, a fine tip Sharpie. In the back back here is a couple of notepads, uh, sticky notepads, regular notepad. And my Knipex, Nipex, I don't know how you're supposed to say it. If you have an official video of how to say Knip up Snipex, let me know. These pliers here. Um, somebody's going to say, why in the world do you carry two pliers? You know what? I'd say half the time that if I have the need for one plier, I have a need for a second one to hold the top of the fastener. Because half the time it's a, you know, a nut and a bolt or something like that. So if you need one plier, you need two. <laughs> About kind of how I see that. 
And that kind of comes down to my everyday carry, um, some, or some of my questions, these pliers here, I'd like to have them almost on me, but again, they're heavy and I don't need them all the time and I'm usually not far from my vehicle. So them floating in that other bag almost makes more sense in a way, other than the times that I need them, I gotta walk out to my vehicle to get it. Speaking of in the vehicle is my camera bag. And in my camera bag, I have this little right in the rain pouch. Made in America, um, so that's pretty cool. They aren't that expensive. When I bought mine, I bought it with a kit, came with a notebook and one of their American made Fisher space pens, a clicky pen, writes on the right in the rain notebooks really well. Um, supposed to be waterproof and yada, yada, yada. Not a overly priced pen, but you know, it's a pen, um, a Sharpie, you know, just a regular felt tip Sharpie, nothing special. This is a knife. It's not, or not a knife, a pen, um, not a made in the USA pen, which, you know, I kind of wish it was, but Olight, this was given to me when I, uh, purchased a Hogue Deca from a guy. He sent this along with, so uh, it was really nice of him to do that. I I like this pen, you know, it's neat. It's kind of a attention grabber if you go to use it and stuff. And inside here, now I, I'm gonna change how I do things, I'm pretty sure. It's just a notepad, slides in. This, I never carried this knife in this bag. I just put it in tonight because this knife has always been on my camera bag, which this bag is in. So I don't know why I didn't drop it in here. Another neat thing that I found out is these pliers will slide right in here next to this. And now you have one plier and your stuff. Actually, this thing may be, what if I flip it around the back side here, slide it with a notepad in the center so well, that's kind of interesting so i guess this will hold two of those little pliers a fairly large knife that's like the endura spider co endura or endella or whatever it's a big one i mean it's not a small knife by any means um neat knife Kind of one of those that I expect to go to the end of times almost with. K390 steel. So, you know, if you don't know anything about steel, it's a really, really high retention, good steel. It can rust on you a little. So, you know, make sure to keep it oiled up. And in Spyderco's seriation pattern. Reason I went with this route for this knife is I'm not a big seriated guy. You know, I don't have many knives that have serration parts, but they work great in some areas and they work acceptable in most others. So it's not that it's bad in any way. There's very hard to sharpen um, without, you know, some little ceramic files or something like that, some diamond round files and then ceramic files and by hand. And you know what? That takes a skill a little bit beyond mine. I'm pretty close. I could get it. I could... I could bring it back some, but that's the thing is a serrated blade. There's always one more cut in it. It, it will, I mean, even when you dull that and you roll that some, you stab it in some cardboard and you yank on it, it's going to cut it. You know, it doesn't have to stay blazing sharp, but with that K390, it'll hold an edge like crazy and being full serration. I'll never have to sharpen that knife. I mean, really, it'll never cross my mind to sharpen that thing. It'll last me forever. It's in a backup situation anyways, but it gets used sometimes. It carved pumpkins this year. There's a good little car pumpkin car carver. Anyways, rambling on about everyday carry stuff. So, not that I have a dilemma or anything, and I do find it neat that that will carry that, but wanting to condense stuff. So this is going to ride in there. I don't think these are going to ride in there. It's nice to know that they'll fit though. And they'll be able to carry. Makes this pretty heavy though. But you know that's half the stuff I carry loose in my pockets as well. 
I carry the notepad in my front left shirt pocket. I carry two pins or a pen and a, another Sharpie in that same pocket, a longer light, but on my shirt sleeve, a pocket knife I always have in my pocket as well. So man, other than the fast use of the pocket knife, I could fit all that in one pocket or one space. But then that's the thing is that gets heavy for one single pocket. Wants to pull your pants down or pulls on your shirt too much or if you can even fit it in there. That's pretty, pretty thick that way. So whatever pocket you put it in, that's a, that's a lump. You know, that's, that's a lump on your hip, on your back pocket. That's a lump in your front pocket. I think, yeah, I think I have to have it, you know, evened out on me personally because that's just, to me, too much. And then I have this bag here. And I think I've gotten everything cluttered so much. This, These are not made in the USA bags. Um, I can't remember the country of origin, but it is a, a really high quality Cordura. Um, kind of a handcrafted style. Clean lines, you know, you have your little bit of Molly stuff, so these bags will actually molly together. So you could run one, you could run two of them, have the one strap and carry a lot real easy. So nice little system, kind of a cashy little system though. They aren't cheap. Um, but this one, notebook, little vitamin C zinc pack things. So adult tang, as I call it. Again, another one of those Kimball Midwest pens, a uh, couple of Sharpies, a fine tip and another. And then back here, this would be, you know, whatever is going on that day. I may throw the Kniipex in that little pocket. I may throw a couple of Band-Aids and some eye drops or whatever. They may end up holding the kids' sunglasses for the day. So that's just kind of a whatever, but it's a nice little thing that I can take the strap off of this other one. Strap goes on it, carries light and easy with a, you know, empty all your pockets out, have a little tiny bum bag. This actually works really, really well for that. I do wish that it had some tighter internal storage. So like on the others, some of the others, they have like Molly strapped across up here. You know, that holds pins a little better. This, this here's kind of loose on that. They aren't going anywhere or anything like that. And I don't know why that bothers me because it makes it real easy for them to come out. So, but yeah. Doesn't open all the way around, but that also keeps some of the structure of it as well. And some of the clean lines of it. That's where I say, do I need a bum bag? You know, would a slightly larger bag cover all of that in one one bag and it'd be just fine? Or would I have that hoarder problem that many of us do and I end up loading too much into that bag and it's too heavy that I don't want to carry it or take it in because it's just that much extra of a cumbersome item? What are your thoughts? Like I said, if you have if you have a cool video to a USA made bum bag or whatever you want to call them, send it to me. I would like to check it out. I think that would be be neat. Um, also, if you want to send me a video of your work pocket carry dump, you know, I think that'd be neat. I think it's neat to see you know what different mechanics carry, especially like in different industries. You know. Uh, an auto mechanic has a little different tool set that they carry on them than what a diesel mechanic does. And then even a heavy equipment operation mechanic, their, their daily carry is a little different as well. It's kind of neat to see some of the tools from the different industries and how they're used or some of the little things. Um, people just have some of the craziest stuff on them. And when they tell you what it is or what they're doing with it every day, or most days, 
it's kind of neat, you know, little handmade tools at times. I've seen guys make some pretty unique little things that just happen to be with their job. I knew a lawnmower guy, an old guy, and he made a pair of pliers that he welded something, he welded like a little plate to it. Anyways, on the lawnmowers he was working on a lot, he could grab that spring. It kind of hooked that spring, take that tension off, and he could pull those springs on and off with a pair of pliers real quick. He'd just be able to grab on and kind of forked around the spring a little bit, had that plate on there and the way it unhooked and he could just grab it and put it off and then slide it in and put it on. It was just slick as not. Just something that he took a pair of pliers and welded a couple of things to it and that was his that was in his pocket all the time. He carried those ugly things around. Anyways, I appreciate it if you watched this far. Um comment about that knife giveaway i don't know if i'll link it in here but if you do a search it, the video is only a couple videos before this one but i'll try to remember to put a link like in the description at least the flag things tag things are hard for me to not hard i just don't take the time to watch the video after it uploads to youtube to where to put the little flags in the top corner thing i'm just i don't have the extra time for all that it takes a little bit of time for me to do these Leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. That knife giveaway, if you leave a comment, Knipex, in the description or in a comment, you'll get five extra entries. Check it all out.